Hey guys, welcome to Dear Shaley, episode three. The last time I talked about sex and dating and the time before that I talked about depression. This is basically a series where people ask me questions and not even sometimes just ask me questions, just ask me for the general topic and I will just answer it according to um, what scripture says about it and what I feel like what I've experienced in my short 24 years here on earth. So today's topic, I'm gonna talk about self-esteem, trying to figure out your purpose and your worth. What is self-esteem to you? Chances are it's something along the lines of something based off of feelings. Not having enough money, not being beautiful enough, not being talented enough, not feeling like we're worthy enough. It's this whole mindset that has us indulging on the things that are wrong with us or the things that we need improvement on. It never lets us live in the moment, in the present, right here and now and appreciate what we have and who we are. And you know what's really crazy? Most of the time when we think about self-esteem, we think of it in the way of we don't have enough of it. We don't think about it in the way of self-obsession, which is also another form of self-esteem. In our world of selfies and technology and it's all about me, it's almost impossible to not have a self-obsessed mindset from time to time. I've definitely been on both sides of this, you know, self-worth obsession of number one, thinking that I'm the bee's knees, thinking that I'm, you know, this or this, and really focusing on myself so much to an extreme where it's like, I have nice clothes, I have nice makeup, I have nice hair, whatever it is. I've been on that side. I've also mostly been on the side of I'm not good enough, I'm not this enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not happy enough, I'm not fast enough, anything. Like you can name anything in the world, I'm not that enough. As women, I think especially we focus on that a lot. I know a lot of men do too, but as women, it's the number one downfall in us and who we are. It's just we are never satisfied with our bodies. We are never satisfied with our knowledge. We're never satisfied with our family. We're, everything in our lives needs improvement according to us. And it makes us fall into this trap of self-obsession where we get to the point where we actually forget about those around us and the needs of those around us because we are so focused on ourselves. I love this verse in Philippians because it really just shakes that whole like, oh, feel so bad for me syndrome that we get sometimes. Philippians 2.3, do nothing from rivalry or conceit, but in humility, count others more significant than yourselves. That's a challenging scripture to live by, right? So what does this mean? It doesn't mean that we should have low self-esteem. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that we should live our lives thinking of ourselves less. But I do think we need to be living our lives, loving ourselves and loving people the exact same way. Our whole being, our DNA, it doesn't depend on what we do, but who we are in Him. It's knowing that you are of importance that you are put on this earth for a reason. That God not only created you to exist and to just walk about this earth like meaningless, but he created you, specifically you, to make a difference right where you are. Whether it's in your workplace or in your family or in your house or anywhere, you were created to make a difference. When you look at it that way as you and only you have this purpose to change the world in your own special way, you're gonna realize that, wow, Maybe this whole time I've just been worrying about the wrong things. I've been focusing on the wrong things. I am important, I am special, I am a child of God. I have a purpose. The scriptures tell us that we were created in his image. We were created beautiful. You know, on the days when I'm not wearing makeup or like my hair is just a mess or I just woke up or whatever, it's really, really hard for me to get into that mindset of I'm important, I'm beautiful, I'm special, my husband thinks I'm gorgeous. Like sometimes I go into pity party mode, to the self-obsession and negativity mode where I'm like, I'll never be good enough, I'll never be this enough. It's really easy to fall into that trap. But just like faith, this requires knowing who you are even on the days when you don't feel like it. Because there's going to be days when you don't feel like you're worthy, when you don't feel like you're worth anything. Or maybe someone will say it to you straight up, you're not worth anything. What are you going to do in that moment? What are you going to think? I'm telling you one thing, if you're not digging into scripture and really reading what God thinks about you and how precious and highly valued you really are, you're going to have a really hard time combating these emotions. Let God tell you who you are. Because you know what? Society, their standards are so high that not even models can meet those standards. Pretty much every model that you see in a magazine or on TV or in an ad or like anything, they're not even that standard. They've been photoshopped, they've been fixed. 
every single one. And you know what, even with selfies these days, it's very easy to take a picture of myself and I can take away any pimple I see on my face. I can take away, I can actually change the shape of my nose or my, I can change the shape of my eyes or I can even maybe add some like makeup to my face if I have like a really professional app. Like it's not hard to transform yourself into something that you're not. How do you think all of these people are making money with their advertisements and stuff like that? They're not even using real people. They're using the basis of a real person, like the concrete foundation of actual person, and then they're going in there piece by piece and they are fixing that person to what they think is the standard. Nobody will ever measure up to that standard. You will never measure up to that standard. Know that right now. I don't care if I lost like 70 pounds right now, I would still never be a supermodel. I would still never be perfect in the eyes of society. Don't let society define who you are. Don't let you define who you are. Let God define who you are. Ask him. Ask him what he thinks of you. Ask him how much he loves you. Because he'll tell you. Your worth is in your heart. It's in your relationship with him. And remember, it's not what you do, but it's what he's already done for you. He's already paid the price for you. And you were bought at a very high price. To know that somebody took their own life for you, that's pretty. <laughs> That's probably like, that's like the biggest self-sacrifice form I could see. And he did it because he loves you and he loves me and he loves this world. So in closing, we're all gonna go through those stages where we have low self-worth, low self-esteem. It's inevitable. I encourage you to challenge yourself with the way you think about yourself. Challenge that with scripture. And your pride inside your heart is going to say, I don't need scripture. I already know I'm not worth it and I'm not even gonna look it up. I'm not even gonna take the time out of my day to find out the truths about myself. That's your decision ultimately, but I'm telling you, you can't keep living this life where you're focused on yourself in such a negative way where you beat yourself up every day because you're going to miss out on so much in life. You're gonna miss out on relationships. You're gonna miss out on people that love you. You're gonna miss out on this whole other world of helping others and focusing less on yourself and more on them. And if you're on the opposite side of the spectrum and you just look at yourself and you don't see any flaws, you see yourself as perfect and everybody else is not, you're gonna live your whole life keep trying to keep that expectation of yourself so high. And guess what, you're gonna age. You're gonna gain weight eventually. Your skin might break out one day suddenly. There's always gonna be these trials and tribulations that are going to rock the way that you think about yourself. You gotta have that foundation there. You gotta know who you are. Three scriptures to talk about our one purpose in life. If you don't leave with anything else from this whole talk, leave with this. Philippians 1.21, Philippians 3.13 through 14, and another scripture in Colossians, which I didn't write down, but it'll be in the description box with the rest of the scripture if you wanna read more. Your purpose is to live for Christ, to know his love, and to share it with others. So you make the most out of today. Get away from your pity me party. We all have them, I know. It's, sometimes it's fun, right? Sometimes it's fun to get attention or to feel pity. You gotta get away from that. You gotta know who you are. You gotta ask God who you are. And you gotta share it with others. So I hope you guys enjoyed that Dear Shaley episode. If you have any topics that you want answered or you have any questions on or anything, make sure to write it in the comment box below. Or you can always tweet it to me, Facebook it to me. All of my social media accounts are also down below in the description box. I love you guys so much. And don't forget that he loves you. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Uh-oh. Eden says, achoo. Can you say it? Achoo. Achoo. She's been sick these last few days, so um, achoo has become like her new favorite word. Right, Eden? So we are here for Eden's 16 month update. Um, she's going to be 17 months in a few days. So actually, that's crazy to think about. That means we're almost gonna be one and a half.